Hello, this is Hanito, and welcome back to Dread Delusion. Uh, we have been tasked by this fellow here to go and find his dream journal, uh, which apparently has been stolen by goblins. I don't really know what goblins would want with a dream journal, but you know, we're, we're going to go ask them. We do have the option of sleeping until night and avoiding conflict, but I want to see if we can go toe to toe with some goblins. I want to test our skills. Hi. Uh, over our pitiful lives, humans accrue beliefs and delusions. Ah, dread delusion. When a person dies, sometimes a glimmer of who they were lingers for a time. This ethereal skull is a glimmer of delusion. Collect enough and you will acquire a full delusion, which allows you to increase a core attribute. Oh, okay. You may also develop delusions of your own by completing quests and overcoming challenges. See the tower on top of the cliff? That is where Velocalos was last sighted. Make your way to that tower and confront her. Do not tarry. Okay, well I'll collect this delusion. So basically you're telling me that all my... All my doings are just delusions. Interesting. What the frick is this thing? I'm gonna... I'm gonna go have a look. Hi. Are you... Oh, I have paid youth. That's that's used to make the health potion, I think. A flower shaped oddly like an eyeball can be used as an alchemy ingredient. Named after legendary god Pegoof. This herb is well known for its healing properties and is used in medicines across the apostatic union. Okay. Nice. Disgusting, but nice. Oh, oh no, we've got more more of the guys. Oh, you're an archer? Then I'm not worried about you, to be honest. As long as I keep moving, don't get stuck on a tree, then uh, it'll be fine. So is this not the way for finding the guy's stuff? If I, if I have one observation so far about this game, uh, it's that I feel like the enemy AI could could do with some with some work. Hi, okay. Oh, you're not a dark sentinel or whatever they're called, but you still hurt. Ow! Ow! Damn! Okay. So, welcome to my prison, human. Oh. These words smash against your skull with dread portent. There's no mistaking it, you're speaking to a god. Oh no. Ah, I sense it in you. That abject horror, that searing shock. Your heart beats so fast it might burst, human. Ah, uh, wait, am I dead? The entity laughs. A great pulse of eldritch energy reverberates through your bones. No, human, you are not dead. Not yet. You were moments from death. I plucked you from a certain peril, as easily as your kind would pull a weed. But it was not an act of kindness. I require something in return. Um, I didn't ask to be saved. And I did not seek your consent. Make no mistake, human. Your life means little. Without me, you would be just another pile of bones sinking into the dirt. You will help me, or you will perish. Velikolos, in her arrogance, chained me here in shackles of void steel. I wish to be free, and sh so she must die. You hunt Vela, correct? Without my aid, your mission is futile. You will surely meet a gruesome demise. So, I will save you. I will pluck you from the precipice of oblivion again and again, until the deed is done. Who are you? Now times have changed. That a human would ask such a thing. There were times in ages past when my shrines were in a thousand settlements, when every Wiccan knew my name, when my mind rang with the prayers of your kind. I will not stoop to introducing myself, but know this, there are still those loyal to me who preserve my hidden shrines. It is to these places that I will summon you, should your death be imminent. Okay, so that's why we ended up at the statue before. Why did Vela capture you? Why else? She craved my power. 
I am unique in the pantheon of major gods, as I can sense the moment of one's demise and steal them from their fate. But in her arrogance, this was not enough, for I cannot revive someone who is long dead. There are no gods who can, save, perchance, the dreamers themselves. So she kept me chained here. Such is the sorry state of the world that no followers came to save me. Not even the Wiccans came to my aid. Damn, that, cur that cursed god war. Okay. Uh, farewell. Remember our bargain, human. Um, I will remember it. Thank you, kind. Um, whenever you are. Okay, so... Oh! Oh, you are... Oh! Oh, yes, okay. Uh, this looks like an interesting landmark. Yes, really, really? The ship containing the big eldritch god is an interesting landmark? Yes, I agree. So where are we? Do we have a map? I actually have no idea if we have a map. Uh, you have... Not found any map chart. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, fair enough. So we don't have a map right now, but we could have a map in the future. That's always good to know. And we're going to collect the money, because of course we are. And what the heck is this thing? I want it. Iron ore. Decent quality ore can be used to upgrade rusty weapons. <gasps> oh my god. I want to upgrade my, was my rusty weapon. Okay, well I'm going to try and find where we are. Um, and get back to what we were doing, which was, uh, dying. Where the, oh my lord. Oh, good gravy, where are we? Oh, there's a thingy down there. There's a big thingy down there. I don't know if I want to go and fight the big thingy. It doesn't look friendly. Okay. We're going to get this plant, though. Thankish. Someone shooting at me? Yes, you are. Okay. Well, don't mind me. I'm just going to steal things that are around. Oh! That god didn't even bother to heal me, you know? Hi, friend. Are you friend? Oh, you are friend. Hello. Talk to me. Don't just show me your butt cheeks. I want to talk to you, friend. Hello. No, oh, okay. They don't want. To, they don't want to talk to me apparently. But apparently we can block with F. So that's good to know. Right. So where? Where are we? Where? Where is this? Where are we in relation to our quest? Okay. I think we found where we were. Okay. Well, maybe. Maybe we'll rest. Uh, right, let's sleep till nightfall, I guess. Uh, and we'll save our game. Guy said that the goblins are asleep at night, or that they leave at night. But since we don't know where those goblins are, I have no idea. It, he could be talking about this way, he could be talking about that way. I really don't have any clue. So, we'll just go up here, and we'll deal with his request later. Oh, that looks like a fortress, so maybe they're up there. Okay. Where are you going, Prisoner 17? Are you attempting to run from your duty? The bridge ahead is barred to you. Only those with a permit may cross one of the apostatic union's bridges. Oh. So, we can't go over this bridge, you're saying. That's fine. I didn't plan to. I'm just looking around. Because this is this is one of those types of games where you just when you're just looking around. What is this spiky flower? Can I harvest you? Jitter seed, a potent seed that vibrates in one's hand, can be used as an alchemy ingredient. The volatile nature of this herb makes it ideal for restorative potions, uh, alike. Potions are poisons alike, and so it is prized in the criminal gangs of Slev. Oh, okay. So we can make poison with it? Pilfer three lockpicks, nice. 
And can we can we get in this house? No. Ooh, maybe up here. Oh hi. You uh you're you're an enemy soldier, aren't you? The Dark Star mercenary languishes. An ale in one hand, she barely registers your presence. Hmm. <laughs> So are you with the Inquisition, or some petty thief come to pick at our corpses? Um, I'm hunting your leader, I'm just passing through, I have no quarrel with you. Damn straight, any funny business and I'll lop off your head. She swings an arm in a vague gesture, spilling her ale in the process. Okay. Uh, what can you tell me about Bella Close? She squints at you, her head swaying from the booze. You can keep a secret, right? She leads the Dark Star mercenaries, and so I'm supposed to lip tip my hat and call her boss. But between you and me, she's going to get us all killed. Maybe she already has. She speaks of mad prophecies, of breaking reality itself, to make some sort of deathless heaven. Nonsense and lies a lot. Ooh, can we charm you? May we charm you? Ooh. You know what? Why do I always get the shitty jobs? Sure. You can loot the whole place for all I care. That'll show Vela a thing or two. Thanks. I'll close your door for you, because you did me such a nice favour. Aren't I polite? A very polite thief. Give me this. Uh, you embrace a delusion. Use it to increase your stats. Where can I increase my stats? Ooh, hello. Delusions, one. Belief is everything. As your delusions grow, so does your power. Find enough glimmers of delusion by exploring the world or completing quests, and they will grant a full delusion. Delusions can be spent to increase one of your court attributes. Okay. Um, skills of attack and defense increases your maximum health. I mean, that might be useful to us. I think we'll invest in that. I do feel incredibly weak right now. Of course, we could just avoid combat altogether. Oops, no, just let me open it. Ooh, rusty helm. Give me. I want a rusty helm. Let me let me put that on. Yes, thank you. Nice. Okay, so we've got a little more protection now from being stabbed, which is pretty nice. What is going on down here? Don't fall in the lava. Can't cross the bridge. But who are you? Are you a friend? Oh my, what's all that commotion over yonder? I appear to be quite lost. I bought a map of one of these honoric isles back in Riova, but they seem to be decades out of date, he grumbles. That's the trouble with these fringe islands, every few decades they've floated into different positions. Take my advice, traveller, if you're looking to explore, make sure you find an accurate map. Uh, do you know where I can find a map? Well, I noticed that the Erudite Academy is flying overhead. Can you see it up there in the sky? It travels all over the apostatic union, so I've heard. I met one of their scholars in a red tent near Hollowt Hallowtown. Believe it or not, they're working on a map of the region right now, only it's not quite ready. Still, I'd try asking them. Worth a shot, eh? Cool. Where are you trying to get to? Oh, I'm trying to get to the Endless Realm. It's said to be a place where people never die, even though the flesh peels from their bones. Well, that sounds horrible. Why would you want to live through that? As a boy, my mother would scare me with tales of the Cadaver Crusades. When the Endless would hunt the living and feast on their still warm bodies, it would scare me white witless. Whiteless, excuse me. It would scare me witless, but still, I always dreamed of going there someday. Why? Nothing about that sounds good. And I have it on good authority that they've reformed their ways. They only eat non sentient meat and are on good terms with the apostatic union. So I said to myself, what do I have to lose? Your body? Your mind? Well, I suppose they could still eat me. Right, okay, well. Uh, yeah, you, you, you do that. You go associate yourself with the, uh, the flesh-eating cadavers. That sounds great. Oh. Hello, could you lower your drawbridge for me, please? I wish to enter. No? Okay. We are here with the dreamer who has tasked us with retrieving his dream journal from a bunch of goblins. 
Uh, I'm going to be completely honest, I went and got his journal from a bunch of goblins. I fought the goblins, I was very heroic. It was a masterful piece of me fighting things and, I, and actually not dying. But then I discovered that I hadn't been recording. So unfortunately, I've lost the footage of me going to get the journal. But I can tell you it was up there on that ridge. I found this weird shape-shifting plant that was very interesting and intriguing called the Paradoxicus. Uh, which apparently shifts between realities and of course i also found the dream journal which was in this chest and we also found some dread which was, which was on this table so yeah here we are back with our dreamer friend and we have his diary a dream journal rather an old journal with yellowing pages flicking through there are handwritten descriptions of strange events a wedding in an ancient castle, an empire with impossible machines, a cataclysm barely escaped. So basically it kind of sounds like it's describing the history of this world. So yeah, let's give it back to our guy. The man squints at you for a moment. Ah, you were here earlier, yes? I remember you. Um, I found your journal. He leaves through the pages excitedly. Yes, it's all here. Obeith, the war, the machine age. Please take this, along with my sincerest thanks. Oh, thanks. I didn't actually see what you'd given me because I was busy reading your dialogue. Inquisition journal. Oh, that's the one we were given. What else have we got? We've got this remarkable treasure. Did you give us this guy? A Trevor. A, a Trevor. We've got ourselves a, a remarkable Trevor, people. A treasure of unmistakable value could miss, could make its owner a considerable sum. Okay, so that's just money. So he didn't really give us any idea as to where we were supposed to go next. Obviously, we're supposed to be heading towards uh, the fortress of that woman. Can I fly this thing? Can we just fly off somewhere else? Doesn't seem like we can, but this is really cool. I love things like airships in games like this. Kind of makes me think of Final Fantasy, uh, Skies of Arcadia, things like that. All really awesome games. I've been wanting to replay Final Fantasy IX for ages. It's one of my, well, it is my favourite Final Fantasy game. Stamina Potion. Oh, restores stamina and a portion of stamina threshold. Derived from the Jitter Seed, this potion imbues the user with an unnatural energy. Nice. I did notice that my stamina has been draining uh, and not recovering fully, so that's really cool. Seems to be a lot of dead bodies on this ship. Is there actually anyone alive here? Can I not pull this lever? The lift is not yet active. Oh, okay. Uh, so do I need to do something else first? Or maybe I just need to take the lift somewhere. Maybe that's what I need to do. Oh, this is a... Oh, are you Vela Colos? Is this where I am? Hold on a sec. Before we talk to Vela, um, I want to see if we can take this. The lift is not yet. Oh, damn it. Okay. I guess we can't use the lift yet. That's fine. Okay, let's talk, I guess, uh, to Vela Kalos. Vela Kalos stands with gravitas, her voice piercing the clatter of the ship. You notice blood seeps from her armour. She's wounded, but hides it well. Loose the sails! And why is the anti-grav engine not running? Suddenly, she catches your eye. What's this, a straggler? The Dark Star Company greets you. My apologies, but you've caught us at a rather inopportune moment. Well, look close, I've come to up to you in the name of the Inquisition. I've just escaped from the Inquisition prison. Can I join you? 
I mean, that seems like a far more manipulative way of talking to her. But let's be honest. She throws her head back and laughs. Oh, that's good. You've come to apprehend me. You look like you need a meal and a lie down. I don't think you're in a state to apprehend a silk slug. Those Inquisition dogs really must be desperate, eh? Still, we can't tarry here. Events are in motion that can't be stopped. Prepare yourself, straggler. Great deeds are afoot. Deeds that will bring the apostatic union's tyranny to an end. And that will usher in a new age of heaven. And with that, we must take our leave. It's been a pleasure, but I doubt we'll meet again. Oh dear, we, we've lost her. She's gone. You embrace a delusion, use it to increase an attribute? What delusion did we embrace? Um, Stamina, Wisdom, Persona. Uh, let's take... Oh, I don't know. We, we do like our Persona. But let's take a bit of Might. Because I don't want to be dying all the time for no reason. The fortress needs repairing before it will work. Damn, can we repair this fortress and have our very own flying fortress? Because that would be mighty cool. What is this? Upgrade property? <gasps> what? Training room? Workshop? Quarters? Wait, 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 wait. Can we actually build ourselves a nice little place? Are you sure you wish to upgrade this part of the property? Um, sure. I might regret it. But yeah, we'll make ourselves some quarters here, I guess. Is this ours now? Is this our ship? Can we get rid of these bars? No? Okay. Okay, not sure what we did there in terms of upgrading our facilities. Whatever that means. This landmark looks interesting. Oh, we're back at the prison. I thought we already had this landmark, so I'm not sure why it keeps telling us that we've we found it. Hi. So, Vela escaped, eh? Our drones detected her vessel's departure. Uh, I couldn't apprehend her, I failed. Well, you survived, and that's something. From the looks of you, I was sure you'd be butchered almost immediately. And anyway, the deal still stands. Vela's still out there, and with you looking for her, the mission is not a failure. Not technically. Next, we need to ascertain where Vela may have gone. We have intel on a number of Dark Star mercenaries who flew the roost. We need to pay them a visit. I've arranged a meeting with Vela's former quartermaster, who will meet you in the Wobbly Noggin pub. Check your quest log for more information. In the meantime, we can use this God of War fortress as a base of operations. Return here if you need to resupply. I'm giving you an Apostatic Union passport document. It will grant access across a Union gate bridge like the one to the south. So what are you waiting for? Get going. Ah, cool. So we can go over the bridge. Um, and we can use this other ship as a base of operations. So I'm not sure when we'll see the advantages of the money we invested. And we've opened up this path, and we can now cross the bridge, and uh, apparently go to the pub. But anyway, we've run out of time for this episode, but I think we've made great progress. We've met some strange gods, we've wrestled with goblins, we've got back the dream journal. We failed to apprehend Vela Kalos, but that was always going to happen, to be honest. So yeah, great progress. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed this episode and want to see more. And I will see you again very soon. In the meantime, take care and stay safe. Bye bye.